Hey everyone, this is Eran from Sternfix and welcome to another great tutorial. And in this one, I will take you behind the scenes of how we made this Captain America title. Now this was all done inside After Effects, no 3D program except of plugins. And by plugins I refer to Freeform Pro and Shapeshifter, both from Metal. Now the goal of this project was to illustrate a point, several actually. I wanted to do a comparison between Freeform Pro and Freeform version 2 which is available now for Windows and Mac and it is running 8 times faster than the bundled version that comes with After Effects. So we've created two compositions for you, one for Freeform version 2 plus the bundled version which means that if you only have the bundled version you will be able to open it and play with it but our main composition is the one that uses two instances of Freeform Pro plus one instance of Shapeshifter. Now the Freeform Pro project renders faster than the bundled version of course, just doing the shield alone. And remember that running a 3D plugin inside After Effects is almost like running a full application. So we actually have three apps running plus OpenGL, plus After Effects, and of course, other plugins. Quite impressive, if I do say so myself. Anyhow, you will be able to download this project and use the plugins whichever version you have, the Freeform Bundled version, Freeform version 2, or Freeform Pro. So without further ado, let's dig inside this project and see a little bit behind the scene how we made it and what were the steps that we used. Okay then, so I'll turn off some of the layers here and then I will be able to explain it to you in further and great detail. Let's start from the walk background here. So let's open the composition for this and I will show you what we have. So we are starting with an image of a rock and then on top of it a black solid which act as a vignette and a little bit of a blur which is an adjustment layer with the fast blur applied to it. Now we are taking this rock background composition and apply to it the Freeform Pro plugin. In the material properties, we played a little bit with the diffuse and specular and shininess, but most importantly, we defined a displacement mapping using the same layer. So the layer itself serves as a displace map. Now, if I'm going to change the displace height for you, you will be able to see that it basically uses the pixels of the layer in order to generate a 3D freeform layer and hence the name. Now it will look much better if we will shine a light on top of it. So we'll have a spotlight here which helps to show the specular quality and then we have a warm light and also a cool light just in order to get some yellow and blue to the scene. Now, if I'm going to switch my views here from Active Camera to Custom View 1 and press C in order to get to the unified camera controls, we can actually look at this texture and see that it is indeed in 3D space and we can see all the bumps and everything. It will look even more impressive if we are going to zoom inside and then we will be able to see all the details and this is the way it performs. It is very fast and very responsive. Now of course we exaggerate it here so let me bring it back to 40 once again so this will look much better in terms of our background. So let's come back to our active camera and see how it looks from here and I think it's doing its job. Okay, let's zoom back to see the whole composition and talk a little bit about the shield itself. We are starting from the shield color map and this is basically the colors and the elements that the shield is consist of. We have a bunch of shape layers here and I want to show you one at a time. So 
We've got the outer red. Nothing's too exciting yet, but here comes the outer white. And following by the inner red and the blue. So four circles, this is a good start. Now we've added a grunge texture. It's a little bit hard to see, but if I'm going to zoom, you can see that we have some dust and a little bit of a grunge texture. On top of this, we have the polystar itself and also another texture just to make the shield look a little bit more uh, grungy and actually a little bit more realistic. And then we also add some nice circle metal look once again using this texture in order to make the shield look like it's made of some kind of a metal material. Now, using the same layers here, more or less, we've built a displacement map. The secret, of course, for a good displacement map is to take under account that gray pixels, which means 50%, will not change anything in terms of 3D. Bright and dark pixels will generate much more movement definition and extrusion while gray one will leave everything in place. So if we'll take a closer look here, we can see that we have thin lines of the same circles and star shape that we have in the shield itself. And if you want, you can take a closer look by examining the project and you will see exactly the values that we use in order to create this displacement map layer. But for now, I'm going to leave you with this image. Just bear in mind, once again, that the gray lines will not be extruded, will not be deformed. And once again, we also have a reflection composition. And this one consists of a couple of effects, the ramp effect, the CC flow motion, polar coordinates and radial blur. I already explained it in an earlier tutorial, so you might want to take a look at this, but this is basically what it does, just something that can really help to generate a nice reflection map. And now back in our Freeform Pro composition, let's see how we can take advantage of everything that I just showed you. First and foremost, you must populate your timeline with the reflection composition and of course the displacement map comp. So both of them should be here. The eye is turned off, so the layer is not visible. And we also have the shield color map, which is this composition resting here. And let me just close the Metal Freeform Pro plugin and just open the eye for it. So this is how it looks on its own. This is the basic thing. Now, as soon as we apply to it the Freeform Pro plugin, we can make it look like this. And before I'm going to change anything, I just want to zoom inside 100% so you can get a sense and see all the nice detail that we have in the colors and in the displacement. And you can take a look and see how well it looks. And this is amazing inside After Effects that we can achieve this nice and sharp quality. All right, so let's just zoom out a little bit. And once again, we change the material properties just a touch in order to make it look a little bit more appropriate and inside this scene. And the displacement mapping is actually doing most of the job. The grid itself is divided to two rows by two columns, and there are no mesh distortion here. But if you like, you can, of course, take one of the points and play with it and you can see how fast and easy it is and this is of course a very fun thing to do also creative all right but we don't wish to use it like this we will do all the deformation from the displacement mapping i've set the displace height here to 80 but once again if you want to exaggerate you can go as high or as low as you need and you can see that you really get a nice extrusion using the displacement map using this one this layer in order to control which part of the shield is going to be extruded and which part should stay in place so let's bring it back to 80 and 
we also set a reflection mapping using the reflection composition that I just show you and we use the spherical mapping. Now you can also change the render quality. From my experience, a medium anti-aliasing is more than enough, but if it doesn't suit your need, you can get it up to an ultra high. Just make sure that you know that there is a render cost for this, which means it will render a little bit slower. Anyhow, this is the main thing and it is as simple as I'm showing it to you. So no hidden gems here. This is just like it is. This is how easy it is to set. All right. So let's move on and add our title. And this is an instance of a Shapeshifter plugin applied to a simple After Effects text. And if I'm going to scrub it a little bit forward, we can see that we have some keyframes for the Shapeshifter effect which take this text from below and into the screen. So just a few keyframes for the position. And basically this is it. Of course, what makes it so good is the lights and the camera and the movement of everything. So remember, we are looking at three instances of 3D plugins. This one is for the Shapeshifter. Second one is for the Freeform Pro and the last one is for the rock background that we have. We also have a camera in the scene and a camera controller, which is a null object that controls the animation of the camera. And to make it a little bit more believable, we've also added a radial shadow to both the shield and the text due to the limitation of actually working with three instances of the plugins inside After Effects. But I think it looks very convincing. So, this is the time to get it to full screen and show you the final preview. And then I want to talk a little bit about the other composition using the regular Freeform plugin. All right, very impressive. Now let's take a quick look at this FFV2 composition. And this composition uses the built-in Freeform plugin that comes with After Effects. So even if you don't have all these fancy plugins, you will be still able to open this and play with it. For this instance, I choose to use the new version, version 2, that runs 8 times faster than the one that comes with After Effects. But even if you don't have version 2, it will still work with the bundled version. So basically we see the same setup for the rock background. It is a little bit different due to different architecture and things that you do have in the pro version and don't have in the regular one, but it still looks very impressive and you can still do amazing stuff with it. So this is how it looks. Now for the shield itself, once again, we are using the same thing. So under the displacement controls, we are using the same displacement map as I showed you. And I played a little bit with the surface controls in order to react to the light a little bit better. And if you want, you can of course add more effects under it. For example, let's go under perspective. And once again, let's use the radial shadow and maybe give it a little bit more of a softness just in order to introduce a little bit definition between those two layers. So there you have it. You have the regular version of the Freeform plugins to play with and I'm just showing it to you from different angles so you can see how it looks. But if you really want to get the most out of this inside After Effects, do consider to work with the pro version, which behaves much faster. And let me just demonstrate it to you just by manipulating the camera a little bit. And you can see how fast it performs using the special 3D hardware known as the 3D NAE engine powered by, of course, the metal plugins. So hopefully you will download this project and play with it and maybe design it a little bit further. And this is exactly the point. We haven't finished designing it. This was only the first part of how to build all the 3D fancy geometry inside After Effects. 
but we do need to give it a better look, some kind of focus definition and maybe some additional color correction. For this, I invite you to look for the second part of this tutorial, which will be presented by my dear friend, Harry Frank, and he will continue this piece and finish it using tools from Magic Bullet and Trap Code products. So watch for the second part of this tutorial and see how you can finish and package it in a very cool way. So until next time we'll meet, this is Eran from Stern FX reminding you that this is just a prototype and beware, you cannot control the power you hold, you will burn. Stay tuned for part two. Until then, have a good day. Bye bye.